friends, Nibs here again. I want to get out and do a little shooting tonight and uh, show you guys uh, something very, very unusual. <clears throat> it's a gun I've actually been showing a couple pictures of up on uh, my Facebook page for a little while now. Uh, I've been working on a deal with the, the dealer that had this and uh, finally came to a consensus on what I was willing to pay for it and he what he was willing to give it up for but <clears throat> this gun here um, while well you see the title it's as far as I, I know what this gun is uh, <clears throat> I uh, there is absolutely not a single proof mark or makers mark or caliber mark or anything on this gun anywhere um, it's a uh, close up with it very cool very nice very ornate got a little, little uh, sunburst on the cheek there um, but uh, the only reference to this gun and I'll actually uh, post up a picture uh, I put the uh, it's, a, it's an ad from a 19 I believe it was 1923 uh, gecko munitions uh, catalog and this gun was at the top of the page and I'll put this in a picture in picture and let it roll for a little while here um, so you guys can see that but uh, best I can tell this is a Flobert uh, Warnant Warnant uh, they call it a, a boys carbine um, but I've also seen uh, similar guns but not this particular one uh, described as a as a garden gun um, this one is a smooth bore it looks like some of those ones on that page um, may actually have been rifled but this particular one is a smooth bore um, and uh, it uh, has very interesting action um, this little handle right here um, you actually pull that and then the barrel cocks open like a, a break action shotgun um, I do have some uh, shot shells and some CB shorts here. Um, I have a uh, couple of targets out here. I have uh, like 30 feet. I have three clay pigeons kind of hung up on a target out there and I'll turn the camera so you guys can see it. I already shot at them once and it didn't have enough power to break them but maybe the second time will be a uh, be the charm. I did I can see you can see where they when they I turn it you can see where they did hit. Um, but uh, so <clears throat> very interesting uh, and I'm hoping by doing this video somebody might recognize this that knows a little bit more about it and actually tell me some more about it because I've been searching and searching it's been a couple weeks at least that uh, um, since I've, the dealer actually asked me if I knew anything about it because uh, he couldn't find anything on it either and uh, I was able to come up with that one little ad and find that um, just by happen chance uh, kind of searching for Flobert material so <clears throat> I believe this is Belgian in uh, origin but I have no way to prove it other than that uh, that ad that I, I showed you um, so uh, uh, so there's a there is a little hand ejector uh, on the right side of the barrel, and that's all there is for an ejector port. Um, the, uh, the chamber is, uh, it's got a little knockout for where the uh, firing pin would hit. Um, so, uh, I'll load up a, load up a uh, shot shell first. Let me see, I'll, I'll turn you out there. Hopefully the sun doesn't wash it out too bad. Uh, let me see if I can zoom it in while we're here. I guess I can't zoom while it's the camera's running. So, but anyway, the, the uh, you can see the clay pigeons on there. There's three on there, there's one right in the middle. I've already hit it once. It's peppered pretty good. But uh, it, it did not break it, so let's see if we can get it to break this time. Um, oh, yeah, the middle one broke. Uh, 
I think the end one just fell because they're just dangling on there on a close close pin. So it did break the middle one. Um, let me hang this other one back up and we'll try again. I'll, uh, I'll actually take take the camera out there and do a separate shot of the pattern that that's making because it's actually patterning pretty good. You can see the two uh, clay pigeons on, on the left and the right. And I was aiming at the one in the center and there's not any BBs that spread out far enough to hit those uh, two on the outside there. So the pattern's pretty tight on this thing. So it's pretty good. Um, let me do uh, one more and then I'll pull you back and we'll... Uh, I want to try a couple other, I did a, I'm wondering if things, this thing's only set up for, for shorts because these, uh, this may be set up just for the, the Flobert uh, BB caps, these long rifle uh, shot shells are actually extracting pretty hard, so I have to do a little more looking at that. Uh, So you see that I think it actually broke that one too, uh, but I'll take you out there and we'll we'll take a look at that uh, the patterning that's happening with that. All right, folks. Uh, so I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, yeah, little tiny specks looks like peppering all over this target. So when I was shooting, the other one was right here in the middle. You can see where there's not any holes in the target, um, but it was kind of reaching out to over here. And about right over here so had probably oh about a good uh, 12 13 inches of uh, spread at uh, about 30 feet um, and then I did shoot at the one that was hanging over here and it actually broke it on the first try so did a pretty good job of breaking it up pretty good um, so there's uh, that one and then this other one over here uh, was uh, hanging over here and I, I hit it with the uh, with the uh, CB short uh, so it was uh, actually was a pretty accurate shot it hit a little bit low for where I was aiming but uh, overall it was a pretty accurate shot so anyway and then my gong is uh, oh, right there out at 25 yards so definitely a close quarters gun but uh, it's a it's a fun old timer, uh, very unique, and uh, so that's why I had to have it. So back to the video. Um, but uh, I'm gonna try a. Uh, I've got some CB sh CB cap uh, CB shorts. Sorry, um, 10, 710 feet per second, and I've got my gong out at uh, 25 yards. This thing actually does have sights on it, uh, as minuscule as they are. Oop. Definitely extracts the uh, the shorts a lot better, so I'm guessing it's probably uh, only chambered for a, uh, a short. There we are. It's kind of a neat little gun. Hit it, made it move. I don't, must be a, if I hit just on the neck of it or something. Did not make any noise, but I mean, heard a little tick sound. So I must have just just caught the ne the neck of it. Hmm. Yep. 
got one more here. Let's see what they can do with that. Let's see if I can hit the clay pigeon with the... Oh, yeah. That worked out better. <laughs> so, I'm going to grab a couple more of them CB shorts and try a couple more here for you. It's actually a fun little gun. Um, I didn't think the smooth bore was going to be uh, as accurate as it is, but uh, let's see if I can hit another gun. There we go. And on a got a cock it. Single shot, got a cock it. And I gotta keep going now because I missed. Doesn't help that the sun's right in my eyes. I can't. But I can't see these sights very well with that sun glaring right on them. Well, I want to get one more hit here for you guys. <coughs> Probably do a lot better if uh, I wasn't staring right into the sun here. Oh, well, I'm not gonna keep boring you guys, but uh, I thought you guys would really uh, think this was pretty cool. Um, it's uh, probably Belgian, maybe Flaubert, Warnant uh, brand. Only reference I can find that has anything that looks anything like this. That rifle has definitely got this little uh, re release here. Um, and uh, it's got little tiny sights, little tiny post up here in the front. So, but it is, uh, you know, it's. it's if, it, if that ad is uh, true, then it's kind of marketed as a, as a boy's rifle. Um, I'll have to uh, put a piece of cardboard up and just see what kind of... There it is, now we can quit. before you try to close the action um, so anyway uh, hope you enjoyed this video um, something a little bit different definitely a little bit different than uh, you know my normal 22s but this is a 22 so you know I had to have it um, it's a uh, it's a cool little gun if anybody has any more information about it please uh, you know post up and let me know um, I'd really love to know more about it because uh, I'm really at a dead end here with uh, <clears throat> with uh, trying to find information on it but uh, I guess it would get the job done if you're you know had varmints in your in your garden or whatever you could shoot them with a, a CB short or a 22 uh, shot shell and uh, dispatch the little varmints and uh, wouldn't be too loud and bothering your neighbors so anyway I uh, hope you liked the video like share and subscribe um, but until uh, next time we'll see you later have a great day <laughs>